Big hungry. Oh my gosh, stop. You could have called me or something. Shit. Yeah. Look at her volume. Okay, I don't want to take me out. Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. Sorry, I look a mess. Um, I'm about to get my I have a hair appointment. This vlog's gonna be kind of like it was gonna be a full-on self-care vlog, but it's just gonna be more focused towards hair care because my hair has been going through it. Um, literally me and my friends were just talking about it, but my hair has been going through it. I scheduled a um, hair appointment today to get my, to get a trim. I usually only get a trim like once a year, but my hair is like literally has been going through it. So I decided to come and get a trim. It was kind of last minute, so. Um, but yeah, my appointment is at one and it is 12 41 i haven't ate anything so i just got something to eat but let me open it i got some soup from panera bread so i'm about to just try to eat as much as i should have just got a cup because i'm definitely not about to have this bowl um but yeah Oof. okay let me not get this on me um my hair has been going through it, y'all. My friend even was like, oh, your hair uh, used to be like so much longer, like go all the way down to like the top of my butt. And it's just not like that anymore. And it's just like really like dull. It's not as shiny as it used to be. It's so, so, so dry. Like my hair is so dry. Um, and I, I think it's for a couple of different reasons. And then like my hair sheds like crazy. Like I know it's like normal to like shed, but like my hair, I'm gonna insert some pictures. Cause I've been kind of like documenting it since this time last year is when I first noticed it and I was really stressed out is after I graduated so this around this time last year I was super stressed out and that's when I first noticed it and said something to my mom about it and um, the hairdresser about it and um, hold on let me bite this Hmm. what was i saying yeah so that's when i first started to notice that my hair was like shedding and then like now like it's shedding and like there's just so much breakage like normally you would have breakage like at the ends of your hair i have breakage like literally at the top of my head like there'll be like little tiny hairs at the top of my head like there's no reason so um and I think that's because, honestly, I think that's because from using Got To Be and hair gel, uh, edge control gel, because I was on this girl's TikTok and she does hair. She was talking about how you shouldn't be using um, Got To Be hairspray and gel. So I got rid of my Got To Be because I feel like that's, because that's just, you know, if you use Got To Be, like it's super harsh, like it, it has a strong hold. So I feel like that was causing my hair to break at the top. You know, I wear my hair in super tight buns. I've stopped doing that. Like, I'm putting my... I'm using, like, more clips now on my hair. But, yeah. So, hopefully... Um, like I said, I usually get trims once a year. But I'm realizing I should probably start getting my hair trimmed, like, two to three times a year. So, that's why I was like, let me go ahead and make this appointment today. Um, it's Friday should be a really good day drake dropped his album i just got some really good news from one of my friends we're happy for her i only got like 15 minutes i don't know why i got a cup i mean i don't know why i got a bowl i should got a cup Sure. 
healthy shiny she cut it and it just feels so like lightweight and healthy she put some like curls on it some like loose little curls they've already fallen now but I still I love it but anyways while she was cutting my hair I was just telling her like my situation she already knows about the shedding because I told her about it the last time and just how I feel like my hair is just like changing like it's not as shiny it's dull everything that I was telling y'all earlier and she was just giving me like some tips on basically how I should comb my hair, how I should be combing my hair, the type of products that I should be using, and everything like that. I knew she was going to recommend Olyplex because she told me before that she like loved that stuff and she uses it on her daughter. So I went ended up going to Sephora. We all saw. I went to Sephora and I got them. Olyplex is expensive though. I only used um, their number six before. I still have some but it's like a little. I'm trying to get like all I can out of that before I throw it away um but I just got the Olaplex bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner I just got the small ones because I'm just gonna try it out these were $14 each um so I'm just gonna try that out and see how it goes um I know she put the bonding oil on my hair that's another product that I do eventually want to get um she used that in my hair and it's like super lightweight like uh, oil to like protect your hair from heat damage and all that and just make it be like sleek and stuff um but yeah she did a good job on my hair i didn't even tell her i just kind of let her just do what she needed to do i usually i tell her like i i usually only get half an inch cut off my hair once a one time a year um but i just let her do what she needed to do and then she like did some shaping and stuff just like a little bit around my face sorry i'm looking in my mirror but um yeah and i would just like rather have my hair like like i like this length that it's at like if y'all can see like i'd rather it just be like healthy like even if it's shorter then it'd be long and like dead and like dull so i like this like it's gonna be so cute i think whenever i put it in like a ponytail and it just feels super light like she did a good job i'm probably gonna go back to her i told her i was gonna book another appointment with her in october because i usually dye my hair once a year um just black so i'll probably do that in october sorry so um like i said i'll probably go back in october to get my hair dyed and then just some other things that i had got from that y'all probably saw me pick up when i was at sephora was um i just got my makeup forever matte velvet skin 24 hour concealer this is the concealer that i like to use i get it in 4.3 and then i just got this gloss i'm probably gonna try this out um in a sec tonight it's called yes honey it's just from sephora's uh Sephora's brand. It's just like a nude lip gloss. But yeah, anyways, this is just like a hair care type of vlog. I was gonna do like a, like I said, a full, um, a full self care vlog, but and get my nails done. But I don't know if I said this earlier, but I just got my nails taken off, and they're so, they're just like in a bad shape. Like they're so thin, they hurt. It would be no point in me going and i'm not doing like acrylics for a while i was just gonna get gel on my actual nails but it would be no point because they're so thin like i know i would end up ripping like my actual nail this is really nude I think this would be cuter if I had lipstick on top. Um, I mean, on bottom. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and end this video. I know I look crazy because I'm not putting lashes on. Like I said, I'm just going to dinner with my family. I'll go to Houston tomorrow, so I'm probably going to vlog then. But yeah, I just want to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, also, if y'all have any like hair care tips um, when it comes to hair loss and hair shedding, please let me know. 
um because that's something that i'm trying to get control of um just any like hair care tips or any like products or whatever like let me know and what i was gonna say don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and i like this video and i will see you guys in the next vlog <laughs> Thank you.